It's movie time. You have this incredible automation system in your home and so you can go and do amazing things like turn on lighting or devices whenever you walk into a room and motion is sensed. But to really go to that next level and get your partner to swoon over home automation, you've got to do something flashier and bigger. And today I'm going to show you how to set up a movie mode that will absolutely work come Netflix and chill time. And although I'm going to show you how to do this with Samsung SmartThings and with a specific movie mode in mind today, the idea is that you go out and you create a number of these different modes or different setups for the different things that you do in your life. And I think about reading in bed or sitting out near a fire pit and you have all these connected devices within Samsung SmartThings, you can do a ton with. And so you can go and create that fancy level of ambiance. And one thing that was frustrating me during movie time specifically was that the rest of my system was still operating and so if somebody got up or moved around a little bit my motion detection sensors would totally pick up and then all my lighting would come on and so you're just taking yourself out of that movie mode yourself and so I wanted to solve that and that's what brought me to this. I also wanted to live in my home within a set of situations or a set of things that we did and this just helps to create familiarity and things that you do as a family. So how I start this process is I identify a mode or something that I want to create and we actually have to create a mode in Samsung SmartThings and today because of this whole transition process that we're in the easiest place to do this is inside of the Samsung SmartThings IDE. So you go log in there and we start the process of creating a new mode. Inside of the IDE we're going to create that mode and I called mine Downstairs TV. This coincides with the normal modes of home, night, and a way that will coincide with my Samsung SmartThings security system. So this whole system that I'm going to show you today works in conjunction with that and functions really well for me in my home as I go about my day, leave my home, come back, and then I want to start a movie. The next thing I'm going to do is have you create a virtual switch. Now, you can create this inside of the Samsung SmartThings application if you know how to do that. I'm not going to walk you through it but for many of you it's just as easy if not easier to go to that IDE again. In this case I'm just going to choose the basic virtual switch as the device type and you can make other choices if you know what you're doing here but you don't necessarily need to choose all those other ones as this will work in this situation. What you call that switch is up to you, but what I called it was the Samsung SmartThings Movie Switch, and this was intended to be able to use it with voice assistance in a bit of a different way that'll become clear as we go. What I like about doing it with a name like this is that it's not going to get confused when I ask for some other device called Movie to turn on. This is clearly its own device, and I'm not intending to just turn this on and off with voice assistance. But now it's time to delve into the application and we're going to come back into the SmartThings app and then what I'm going to do is create a couple of simple automations to use this new switch that we have. When my virtual switch turns on, really all I'm going to do is take the action of changing my locations mode. So what we're really saying here is that when that switch turns on from wherever we're going to turn it on, that'll become clear, we're going to have the home's mode change and that will eventually drive the choices our automation hub makes. Now I'm not setting any other conditions. You could do that if this becomes important to you as you go forward and you add more modes or you add more situations that you want to handle. You might want to start adding in preconditions that the home is in a certain mode already. The other automations I'm creating are time-based and that's because I have a home and a night mode already and so I want to pick between those two because I'm also adjusting the rest of my automations throughout my home based on what mode my home is in. So what you'll notice is that I'm turning the switch off and then I'm basically setting my home to home or 
night mode depending on whether it is after or before sunset. And so what I'm really saying here is that my home is set to execute certain automations in the daytime and certain automations in the evening because I don't necessarily want to be blown away by lighting when it's really sunny out. So this is kind of just structuring your home in the right way for the future. Now the next component is to create a couple of scenes and you could do this with any of the devices you have in your home. Now I'm just setting up lighting for the demo here but you could go ahead and turn on diffusers or different air purifiers and heaters and coolers and things that are associated with your TV or your media system as well. So this gives you the ability to set the entire movie mode in one action. And then we're going to create a second scene to reverse all of that or to set the room up as you'd like when you leave the movie mode. So you come to the end of your movie and this is what you want it to look like. And so these two scenes should be really clear and you can sit there and play with them until you get them right. I think it was like the very first day I got my V2 hub that I started working with the smart things, smart lighting, smart app. And that's a lot of smart in one sentence, but it really helps us in this situation. Now why I say that is because it helps us to activate these scenes based on the mode changing. And then what's also really great about this is this is locally executing on the hub and that makes it faster and more reliable. Now you will see some delays when you have a lot of things going on here, but in general, this is quick and reliable and that's what's important when you're in the mood. So inside of the smart lighting app, I'm going to activate a scene. I activate when my home mode changes to downstairs TV. Now, right this moment, guys, if you didn't want to use modes, you could simply select the trigger of your virtual switch turning on and off. But again, there are reasons I'm doing it all this way and I'm going to show you at the end the different methods you have to control this whole system. So I created one smart lighting automation for when I want my TV to come on and it's movie mode time and one for turning off the whole thing. Now what's really interesting about this is your system totally works and you can manually test this. So you can turn on and off the virtual switch or you can use the scene buttons that you've created to execute everything. And if you're happy with that control method, that's great, stop here. You're good to go but let me show you a little more now here's where the magic really starts to happen and where that significant other is going to be so impressed with you and maybe even learn how to do this themselves now what's really impressive about having amazon's voice assistant and or google's voice assistant is that they have connection to a lot of other devices that maybe you don't have in samsung smart things but what you can do is create a routine, something like it's time to watch a movie. And from there, you have access to all of their devices. You can execute all of those and turn on your virtual switch that came from Samsung SmartThings, or you can go straight to that scene. Now, I like using the virtual switch, a little quicker, a little simpler. I don't always trust the scenes because it's kind of a funny... Uh, terminology that you have to use to turn those on and off but if you're putting it in a routine not a problem at all but you can also port this into if this then that and with the new pro features you can set all kinds of conditions and you can still use Google or Amazon as your voice trigger for that so there's a ton more you can do there and I have a couple tutorials down below that might tweak you into some pretty interesting ideas there and the last one is if you have action tiles or something like sharp tools, you now have the ability to create these great interfaces that allow you to execute both the scenes and hit that virtual switch on and off. So you have all these different control methods available to you now with just a simple movie mode and you can see what mode your home is in with those methods as well. Now, if you like this automation, then you're gonna love getting custom notifications out of your smart speaker and things like these modes can be spoken aloud. When that sort of stuff happens, you can actually hear all about it. And that's why the video that's up on screen teaches you how to do that with a couple of specific speaker types in your home. So go check out that video, get a whole bunch more out of your Samsung SmartThings system. Otherwise guys, thanks for watching 
and of course, don't hate, automate.